I'm Nina Reese with El Paso County Planning and Community Development, and I'm very excited to introduce you to our new Electronic Development Application Review Program, or EDARP for short. This program will allow you to search archive files, view applications currently under review, initiate a minor application, initiate an early assistance meeting, as well as submit for larger development applications such as the subdivision. In this short video, I will provide you with information of how the various functions of eDARP work. For a more in-depth explanation of eDARP, you'll need to review our user guide. First, let us cover how to search archive files. This is a great resource where you have access to all of our files, dating as far back as 1947, any time of the day, and at a touch of a button. Real estate agents, appraisers, developers, prospective buyers, or just a curious member of the public can use this tool to research permit history for specific properties, areas, or the entire county. There are several ways to search archive files. The most commonly used way is to search by parcel number. This is the 10-digit number, also known as the schedule number. If you do not know the parcel number, you may use the assessor's webpage to search for a specific address. If you are researching projects in a general area, you could enter in only the first few digits of the parcel number and it will find all of the projects within the vicinity. You may also choose to search by project name, such as Meridian Ranch. This will pull up all of the files with that file name. There are several other options such as file prefix, year, file number, or by document type. You may use a combination of search functions to narrow down your search results. Using the Search Archive Files tool, you will be able to complete all of your research without ever having to come to our office or make a phone call. Next, let us cover how to review applications currently under review. The search function we just covered will pull not only the archive files, but also the projects that are currently under review. If you are interested in viewing the projects currently under review, you will use this tool. This list evolves every day depending upon projects that are being opened or have been closed out. It is organized in numerical and alphabetical order. You may initiate several application types online with or without a user account. These applications are limited to projects we have identified as type A or type B projects, such as a temporary use or a home occupation permit. Other application types, such as a special use or a subdivision, require discussions with our planning and engineering staff who will set up a customized application based upon your specific request. We now have workstations so that you can skip the line and submit instantly online. If you're new to our system or just need a little bit of extra help, there's always a member of our staff that's available and can assist you. If you do not already have an account, you will use the Initiate Minor Account button. You will enter in your email address and application type. eDARP will send you a six-digit code to verify your email address. Once you have verified your account, you will fill out the application online, upload any drawings, and submit. We will complete our review and provide the approval electronically after you have paid the associated application fee. If you already have a user account, you will need to initiate the application from your home page instead of from the public view. Applications that are designated as a Type D project, such as a rezoning or subdivision, require an early assistance meeting in advance of making an application. Applicants may also choose to submit an early assistance meeting for Type C applications, or a meeting may be required by the county on a Type C application due to the complexity or technical nature of the specific application. The early assistance meeting is designed to provide you with information on what to expect with the project moving forward, such as issues that may arise, applicable regulations, fees, and the overall process. You should leave the early assistance meeting feeling confident in the next steps that you need to take moving forward with your project. It's also a valuable due diligence tool that you can use when purchasing a property for a specific project, such as a subdivision. Similar to initiating an application, you may initiate an early assistance meeting either without an account or with a registered account. If you do not already have an account, you will use the Initiate Early Assistance button. You will then enter your email address and eDARP will send you a six-digit code to verify your email address. Once you have verified your account, you will fill out the application online, upload any drawings, and click Submit. It is important to provide us with enough information so that we understand your intent. Drawings, 
even if they may be rough at this stage, are essential so that we may guide you in the proper direction and provide you with enough information so that you may make the best decision regarding any plans for development. If you already have a registered account, you will need to initiate the early assistance meeting from your home page instead of through the public view. You will have an opportunity to select several meeting days and times. We will do our best to accommodate your requests, but do schedule based upon our staff's availability. After you have paid the application fees, you will be assigned a planner who will contact you to set up a time and day to meet here in our office. Following the early assistance meeting, the planner will set up your customized project and send you a submission request. If no early assistance meeting was required, then the planner would set up your project based upon ad hoc discussions. You may now submit your application online. After logging into your account, you will see your project listed. You will find a submission request. You can then upload all of the requested items and submit your application. If you have uploaded the incorrect document or the item as submitted does not meet our standards, the item will be rejected in triage and you will be provided with instructions on how to correct the issue. You will then need to revise your submission and read submit. Once all submission items have been accepted, you will make payment online. The planner will send your application out for review by outside agencies that will submit written and redline comments. These outside review agencies will vary from project to project, but generally include local taxing entities, utility providers, as well as local and state entities. Any comments received will be reviewed online. After the review cycle is over, the planner will send you a resubmission request and attach all received comments. You will then need to revise the drawings and resubmit them based upon the comments provided. This referral, response, resubmission process will need to be repeated as many times as necessary until all of the comments have been addressed. Once all comments have been addressed to the satisfaction of the reviewers, your application items will then either be ready for approval or ready to be scheduled for a public hearing. All documents necessary to close out the project, such as the approved documents, staff reports, adjacent property notice, public comments, and so on, will be uploaded online by the planner as an additional document. Most Type D applications require hearing before the Planning Commission and Board of County Commissioners. Thank you for touring eDARP with me today. We here at El Paso County Planning and Community Development hope that you enjoy using our exciting new system. If you ever have difficulties, we're here to help you Monday through Friday.